Hey guys, Thad here with Iowa Budget RC Bashers. And today I've got a few of my collection. Uh, here is the newest edition. This is the actual Tamiya uh, Midnight Pumpkin QD Quick Drive. Uh, this is different than the standard 1 12th scale bathtub chassis uh, uh, Midnight Pumpkin. This was, they made the Quick Drive line starting in 1988. Uh, they were their entry level uh, hobby grade trucks. They had the Midnight Pumpkin, they had the Blackfoot, they had the Monster Beetle, and then they had the uh, uh, Lunchbox versions. All used this same identical chassis, 100% uh, identical. Uh, they just had different bodies on them. And in the same year, 1988, Radio Shack came out with their version. And they used the same exact chassis. The difference being is these have the front wheels swedged onto uh, the axle is swedged onto the spindle and you can't actually change out the uh, the wheels like you could on the pumpkin which has just your standard uh, Tamiya size uh, nut on the spindle a um, couple other differences in this truck from that truck. Uh, this one does not say Ford on the tailgate. The Midnight Pumpkin does. Uh, the roll bars on these were uh, cast in chrome. Uh, well, they had the chrome plating on them. Um, the pumpkin always had the yellow roll bar and the black body. Uh, these clearly say have the Tamiya, Tam, Tamiya Tamiya, however you want to say that, stickers. Uh, the shocks are the same style where they protrude through the top, almost like a nail there. Uh, this particular version, the street comber, has yellow ones, completely identical. And so there's a few subtle differences. Oh, the uh, the bodies are held on in the same place, but the Radio Shack version uses a Phillips screw as to where the Tamiya, Tamiya version uses uh, hex head, which is the same size as your wheel nuts. Um, then moving on to this one, this is the Desperado. And they made this in uh, the Rough Rider. They also made it as the Road Fury. Uh, a couple different versions using the uh, Studebaker style grill. They uh, are very, very much the same as the Street Comber, the Tormentor, the Midnight Pumpkin. Uh, but this style has a cool feature, which I will show you. Uh, the battery tray has a removable battery pack and then you can use the uh, uh, like a 9.6 volt battery pack instead of using the uh, provided little battery pack that goes in there. It's got a Tamiya plug on it and uh, just kind of a neat setup. So I'll insert that. Uh, this one, you just put straight eight double A's in there. Uh, same with the pumpkin. The pumpkin in the later years, uh, the QD pumpkin in the later years, uh, starting like 93, 94-ish, I believe. I think they made these through 96. 
uh, if I remember correctly, but uh, starting in like 93, 94-ish, they had the battery pack option also. Um, this particular one is from 1995. I know that because uh, they only uh, made the Desperado in 1995. Uh, the Street Comer, they made several years, and they actually made several different models of Street Comer. Uh, Radio Shack used the, their names for different... Uh, vehicles um but there are subtle differences but they are the identical truck and there's people out there that are gonna say no these are not tamiya uh made vehicles uh that nico made these for radio shack you and tayo made these for radio shack yes tayo and nico both made vehicles for radio shack but so did tamiya and this these are some of them uh this I, I started getting these as a quest to uh, relive my childhood. I always wanted another one because I had a QD Midnight Pumpkin as a kid. And it was the most fun RC truck I ever had. Uh, I put so many hours on it. The transmission gears broke. My grandpa and I uh, pulled the transmission apart. I was 11 years old and pulling the transmission apart and my grandpa made a aluminum insert to go in the gears to hold the hold it the spider gears into the actual uh outer gear housing and it it was it was just fun you know and so I always wanted another one and I was having a hard time finding them that were not a million dollars you know not uh that were out of my price range so I started getting the Radio Shack ones that I used to drool over when I went to Radio Shack in the mall as a kid. And, uh, cause they're the, they're the same truck, 100%. Every casting, everything is the same. Uh, every mold, whatever. Um, even when they used the Studebaker grill, this is still the Ford body. It is 100% the same with a different grill. So they give it a different look. And, uh, but they are identical trucks, except for a couple small differences that I've tried to show you here. So anyway, um, this one, we, uh, we just got it fired up and, uh, it works beautifully. This one, I, uh, uh, finished the restoration on that and it works beautifully now. Unfortunately, I, I had the uh, uh, Road Fury body. This was actually a Road Fury, but I broke uh, the body. I, all this 30-year-old plastic is hard and brittle, and I dropped it, and oops, uh, it broke in half. So that became parts for the rest of the fleet. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to do a video showing the differences between the Radio Shack version and the Tamiya version. There is not many, and all the parts interchange. Um, the Tamiya version does have proportional steering. These do not. Um, these have the older style servo, and uh, they do have a servo saber thing on them. Um, but uh, these have a five wire servo because of the way the electronics are. Um, it's just the technology of the time. Um, so if you upgrade one of these to modern electronics, which I may end up doing with this one, I'm not sure yet, but uh, if you upgrade them, then uh, you have to upgrade the servo also. You can't just unplug the servo or put a plug on it and uh, use it, but it's not a big deal. It's a standard uh, like two kilogram servo style uh, servo. Um, so it will mount right in there. All right, so here we are. We got both trucks with the body off. And I just want to show you that the bumper, the chassis, and the rear end are all the same with a couple subtle differences. Uh, there's that proportional servo in the, uh, the Tamiya version. And it's also cast on the top of it, it says QD, quick drive, and with the Tamiya logo. But, same chassis, same bumper. Both bodies have the little tab on the front, slides up underneath the bumper, and they go in that way. Um, there is the non-proportional servo in this one. 
so the cover's actually a little bit different because that's basically just a electric motor. This is actually a servo, so uh, the cover's a little bit different, but the way they mount is identical. Everything is the same, and these were made by Tamiya. Now, my brother-in-law worked at Radio Shack back when these things were new, and he said that these were made by Tamiya also. Um, and the local hobby shop here also told me that uh, these were made by Tamiya. I needed parts for my pumpkin once, and they weren't available at the time, and the hobby shop said, we'll go to Radio Shack and tell them you need parts for uh, uh, the Road Fury or the Street Comb or whatever it was. I don't remember which one they told me to, uh, to tell them to check because uh, these had several different names, but uh, that I did that and I got my part and everything interchanged. So the Radio Shack versions have uh, 380 motors in them. They're Mabuchi motors, and uh, uh, but they are the 380 version to go with the two-speed transmission that they have. Uh, the Tamiya versions have a bigger motor case and a 540 motor in them uh, to go along with the two-speed transmission. So the Tamiya ones are faster, but they will they will keep up with each other pretty well. And uh, in a future video, we will show that. But I also wanted to show you that uh, the difference in the motors. Um, so that is the subtle differences, you know, with the battery uh, compartment, no crystal in the, uh, no replaceable crystal in these. Uh, and then the, uh, the other version with the battery pack that actually goes in there. But they are the same truck. Everything is interchangeable. But anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Um, we are going to have several videos on these. Uh, the restoration of that one, uh, or preservation of that one, I should say. I had to order a control for it because I didn't have... Uh, this one came without the radio, and so I ordered one of those. I actually got it for 5 bucks on eBay. heck of a deal but uh, anyway that will be an upcoming video and I haven't forgotten about the Kaivun Conqueror we changed the changed the path on that and uh, we'll be working on that here shortly also but uh, yeah so we've got a bunch of projects and a bunch of uh, fun to be had with these trucks and we want to keep bringing them to you so thanks for watching guys this is Thad with Iowa Budget RC Bashers you have a great day